Hello and welcome to the Maya Intermediate Polygon and Subdivisional Surfaces Training Kit. My name is Papa Giorgio and with the help of lead artist Kyle Green, we've created an incredible training kit to teach you more about polygon modeling and subdivisional surfaces in, within your productions. The car we're going to build is one that's near and dear to our hearts. I used to have an Eclipse and Kyle now drives one, so it made it easy for us to go outside and study the vehicle before Kyle got started modeling and creating the car in Maya. In this series of lessons, we're going to build on top of the Maya Basics training kit. So we won't spend a lot of time on simple things, but instead techniques to reach the final project. For example, we're not going to spend a lot of time, or actually no time at all, setting up the image planes. If you want to learn more about image planes, we have free lessons on our website as well as practically every kit that we've produced. So we figured, you know, why, why waste your time on something like that when we can get right into the meat and potatoes of this project. Why don't we take a minute to first take a look at some high-res images of the car and analyze the different parts of the car that we're going to have to build and some of the, some of the things that are going to be more difficult than others. So if you open up the reference images folder, there's a whole bunch of images here that we've taken for you. Let me just open these up. And these will give you an idea of what we're building. This is the gas cap on the side of the car which is the back of the car, and you're going to notice we have very sharp edges right next to very smooth edges, and, and making sure all these pieces match up and fit is going to be a challenge in itself, so um, we're going to have to kind of be prepared to do a lot of tweaking. A, a lot of times we'll put, a, put something in a spot, and then it just looks better once we get the next part built, so we'll have to move and adjust some parts to make everything fit smoothly. This is a good example here how this pillar matches right up against this um, back fender. So we'll have to keep things like that in mind and tweak things as we go. The headlight is going to be a little bit of a challenge because it has, uh, it spans three parts of the vehicle, the bumper, the hood, and the front fender. And so building this is going to be a little bit of a challenge. Plus this is clear and then you have the little uh, actual light inside, light assembly. Let me get our front uh, recesses here, little grill recesses and the turn signal. It's very smooth, like I said, very smooth here and then a very sharp uh, bend here. And we're going to want to ensure that we have bevels on everything so everything looks clean and smooth. All right, just side view mirror. Let's, let me get a side view. Now you can see here we have this edge that goes along the entire length of the car. This is a very important feature for this car. It's a very noticeable feature. So as we're modeling, we're going to have to make sure that we have a set of edges that run the length of this edge. Okay. Here you can see another another angle. And we'll do some Boolean work to remove that material. Here's another angle from how these meet up, as well as this uh, rubber shroud that holds the glass in, waterproofs the glass, and you can see here the spoiler will come back and build. Some little, if you want to go back and add decals on stickers, we want to take a couple quick pictures to uh, show you what we've got here. And here we've got the uh, windshield wiper, so we'll go back and add that as some of the accessories and details. There's a, a close up of the front headlight, and you can see here that this part right here is very opaque, you can't really see through it, and then this part's crystal clear, so we'll have to go back and add some of those uh, textures in. And then there's a close-up of the front grille. So lots of uh, great opportunities here to learn about modeling. We are not going to be afraid of high-resolution geometry. Our goal is not to make a low-res car. We're making a very high-res car that we're going to use mental ray to render. So we're going to use lots and lots of um, uh, patches, or not patches, polygons, and we're going to end up with a very high poly count, but we're going to end up with a very nice-looking car. So that's going to be the trade-off. And because we want to render in mental ray, we're going to have to uh, use polygons, although we'll use subdivisional surfaces to get a lot of the surfaces we need. Here's a great view of the front of this vehicle and the air intake area. Okay, so that's what we're going to be building, folks. We have a file that's uh, ready to get started. 
uh, with the image plane set up. Again, if you're not sure on how to set up image planes, please visit our website. We actually have one in the Furby, uh, how to set up the image planes for uh, the Furby. And all you have left to do is set up the top-down image plane for the top camera. And just rotate the camera to match up. All right, uh, if you have any other questions before we get started, you can please visit our forum online. Otherwise, let's uh, fire up Maya and get started on building this car.